Well, as you can see, this is a recording of a recording, so um, I don't know if we're going to find out if it has any audio in it. Um, this is just a dry test run. I tried it with another video player. It didn't seem to have any audio, so I don't know if there's something wrong with the computer or what the hell's going on, but we'll figure it out. There's some audio. Very quiet. And a couple of days later, I should say. And uh, I haven't really had a chance to do a lot. I tested a few more of those classical tapes, and uh, some pretty good. Some were done from vinyl, a little scratchy. Um, uh, the metal ones, uh, the few that I've tested so far, in fact, all of them, whatever ones I've tested, just completely rambling here. Sorry about that. Um, you know, they come out sound pretty good for the most part. There may be a few in the collection that I may end up deciding I don't want to keep and erasing it, putting other things on. But there was a few blanks, and one of them was one of these uh, XL2 S's here. Um, and what I had done, um, I I got this uh, Paul McCartney uh, Good Evening New York City uh, DVD and CD set uh, at a uh, thrift store uh, for really cheap. I think this set was probably originally 40 or $50. Um, I think I got it for less than 10 bucks. Anyway, seemed like a good deal. Um, I watched the, uh, watched the DVD a couple times uh, and just doing kind of a test recording right now. And this is how the test recording came out. It uh, was hard to see there. So... Anyway, sounds good. I'll uh, skip through some of this junk here. This is kind of a long video. So, let's see. Four years, I finally got a new cell phone. And uh, I was having some problems with the... Can't play uh, the music back because there that's... We go. It's a little more close-up. Copyrighted. I'm sure I'll get a copyright strike for that. Anyway. Um, it's kind of a cool little, cool little setup. Um... See if I can do it without shaking the camera too much. God, I'm sure that's I always get agitated by people to shape the shape the cameras too much in the, in these videos. But anyway, there's this little panel down here, and um, this is record balance, output, fade speed. Apparently, it's got some kind of a thing where you can control the. It doesn't like have one of those master faders, but apparently, somehow by and generally, I mean, nice guy, but. It, all right. Hard to see. Working. And after I kind of cleaned it up a little bit and played with it and fiddled with it just for a little bit, not too much actually, um, just kind of took out the rotted belts, put in some temporary belts, and I'll eventually have to order a belt kit for that. Yeah, that's the I was talking about. This all kind of a, There's another one I was talking about there. This one. A little bit of an angle here is. Uh, and this one ended up this, getting this broken. Light is actually helping. Uh, anyway, this one, you turn it on and the light comes on, the, like a backlight, you know. The, uh, behind the tape. It's starting to show up right now. For some reason, it's looking orange, but it's actually like a really cool glow. Uh, again, like an old piece of sticky adhesive or whatever. Missing, and the, missing the front panel glass. And it goes all the way down on the peak meter and um, more of that sticky stuff. And unfortunately, the face plate or the, the little insert glass or plexiglass or whatever, that did not come with it. I got this thing for like on sale for like seven dollars at Goodwill, and I was like, "Shit!" Even if I, even if I can't fix it, it's kind of cool for parts, and you'd never see these anymore. Um, on eBay, once in a while, you'll see one of the five uh, hundreds. They call they call this a V five one eight X, so it's got the DBX, and it sounds like again. I say it sounds really good. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. The inside was uh, so anyway. That one ended up looking like busted up. Let me see if I can show you that. Let's see if I can get the camera to turn around here. That is this shit show right here. So, as you can probably see, the um, switches and everything. I kicked something into this basically, so this whole thing got busted up. In fact, this whole piece right here was broken up and fell out. I put it back together the best I could, so unfortunately, this it won't go back together any further. It's just uh, this piece behind here is so 
shattered and busted. It doesn't even stay in place. It jiggle, jiggles around. But you can still manage to push a few of the buttons and get it to work. I had to super glue all this back behind here, and that's missing parts. And it's just a total mess, but it still works and sounds good enough to just uh, check a few things and fiddle with, maybe keep it for parts or something later on. So here's a cheap man's pause because I got too much on this computer. I'll try to. So back to this mess. And anyway, so. Oh, happy uh, St. Patrick's Day, by the way. Like anybody gives a shit. I'm half Irish, and who gives a shit, right? So, um, yeah, there's a little bit of, there's that, all the green I've got for today is very little green. So, um, this was pretty much a lost cause on this one, but the other one is good. It's working out. It's got hooked down to the big stereo downstairs. And, um, see if I can put together film or a, uh, See if I can show some video of the unboxing. I had some unboxing of some tapes downstairs, and um, see if that comes out on this video. I don't know. I was having major problems getting MPEG 4s to work at all, and the new cell phones aren't working with this computer. So I get issues, but uh, hopefully it will be resolved. That was. So there's that.